the windows and think that and we are alive hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been a rough week uh yeah welcome back to my channel and to now life is strange double exposure chapter four now we are on chapter four we are now on chapter four don't touch and my joystick is not working somehow so there you go okay now we are uh before we start there's an announcement that i want to tell you guys uh based on some circumstances i won't i i won't be streaming next week so yeah the chapter five i will stream chapter five tomorrow monday at this time too so yeah check it out tomorrow i guess now my stick your stick die again there we go so my mouse did that <laughs> what's that i did it done okay so let's go jump into chapter four Ooh, I, ooh, yes, I like this. Uh, wait, outdoor, where's outdoor? Oh, no, why the blue hair? Why the blue hair? Mm -hmm. I like it, my way, the blue hair. <laughs> this has become a traumatic episode at stars. Ah, uh, fine. Deep tick. Uh, yeah, last episode we saw somehow ourselves become our dead world Safi somehow. And now we're back to the house. An explanation, come on. You're um getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. I should change. Um be right back. It does, it's still Just need that, that to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to see if Miso has calmed down some. Guess I could only hide my past for so long before Sophie took matters into her own hands. Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? Come on, Safi. I would have thought you had more respect for art. Safi bought me that frame. And There's no editor why Safi is still alive. This is so complicated. I don't know where we stand. All that adrenaline, I didn't realize I was cold till now. Oh, don't worry, Safi. I will. Okay. 
Where's my cat? I've kept plenty of secrets from Safi as well. There's no way my cat. Uh... Oh, that's only a battle. Where's my cat? Almost. Where's my. Ah, there she is. Snapshot first. Miso, let's immortalize the moment. Can I see their belly? Okay. Will she change pose? So now we have to change our clothes. This is the living. Is there anything different? Well, I already changed the clothes. Okay, here's the thing why <laughs> it doesn't make sense. This is the out this is the outdoor one. And the indoor <laughs> since I don't have blue hair. Game logic I guess. I have so much I want to ask Sophie about. I don't even know where to start. Uh, first, why does he look like me? Second, is he the dead world Safi or is she like the living world Safi? I moved my evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman, but never thought I'd have to keep it from Safi too. So, you're what a shapeshifter. You You've have powers? got powers? Oh, oh shit, Safi has power too? What the Here. first? Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. Oh. Clever little minx, you. Hmm. Deal. Let's play. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. But she's a safe shit. Trying to get to like sister. Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. Probably Gwen. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think I figured something. <laughs> the Gwen here is Safi. It's not Gwen. <laughs> This universe is evil. <laughs> that was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. 
that's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? Uh, actually, I, I need more info. I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Hey, it's whatever. Tonight's a total reset. Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. I really should, as her friend, I really should, like, on Safi's side, but... Yeah, he's a kid. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. Okay, let's see who else. Who else? No, I think the only can see double ganger. I think who's the name? Reggie. Reggie. Yeah. Is Reggie yours too? But there's no Reggie's option. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little different. Look, you were snooping around, I needed to know why, it was self-defense. I don't remember this. Ah. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I think I, no, I can I have some side <laughs> with Sophie. Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Both romantic and oddly dark. There's a reason Vin's a drama major. What about shape shifting into Moses? No, he's off limits. Not that I couldn't, but you know, it's Moses. I guess I should let you ask me something now. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? <laughs> Bro. Ice powers and musical numbers. No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... Oh, uh, she's dropping the bomb. Should I say I kill? Mm. I'm technically both are not lying.
Let you say she's dead. You're dead. Okay. Um gonna need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Oh shit! <laughs> Look, the photo. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Yeah, because she always. If this ever can change you. Uh. Since high school? Right after high school. Dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. I remember wishing so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You really white privilege into all the cool powers? You'd think so. But rewinding was... Is a burden. Way, way too much responsibility. Control-Zing your way through adolescence? Literally the worst years of life? <laughs> That's not a responsibility, that's a dream. Mm. Until it isn't. And then your whole life is a nightmare. My turn again, huh? <laughs> that's fine. How exactly do you Shapeshift. I mean, she already, she already explained it to, to us, right? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it... Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, many people have flowers in this universe? All right. So you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines. What? What changed? Well, the first one, you know my best friend dies. I don't talk about where I'm from. And now my best friend died too. Well, where I'm from is gone. Because of me. I saw an article about Arcadia Bay in your memories box. That was a freak storm. I was the freak. And I was the storm. My powers went haywire. And I had a choice. Save the town. Or save the girl that I... I chose her. The blue-haired girl. Hearing her... Seeing her get shot... In a dirty high school bathroom. I... Couldn't live with that. So... Did it. And a whole town died. I didn't dare use my powers again. Not till I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. I thought she has power too, man. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. 
We've talked it through a little oh, since fucked. then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. Hmm, remind me of someone. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. For now. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? Oh, okay. Uh. Well, well, no. No. I don't think so. Or maybe... I hope not. To start. <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But Safi, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is? You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And you'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <laughs> Want to nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. Okay, if we are like following the recipe for the other Life is Strange game, this is where everything fucked up and and at the peak. I don't know about this, about this game though. Here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still reeling. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she Oh deserves. shit, I didn't pet the cat. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot to pet the cat.
Okay. Some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's not really giving me the cheery holiday feels that I expect this time of year. Why not? The guy with the tongue carries a bag. Just like Santa. Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Spend all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. Uh, I hope. I can't promise, but you have me, other Moses, and two powers between us. That's a lot in our favor. It's kind of bullshit it takes that much to tell the truth. So, how do we put this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? You don't know I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Gwen said that. Gwen said me in two different universes. <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. Gwen hit me in two different universes. <laughs> Long time no assassin team up. Classy. Sorry, Gwen. Wait, where's the task office? Reaching Gwen. Say cheese, Krampus. I don't see what the call is up to. Oh. One more beanie and this thing's a goner. There's so much to do tonight. Just walk around. Go oh, and speak. I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. Do what else? I'd love getting any one of these. You pull pranks. You're a superb artist. Hey guys. Max. Hey. to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm gonna check out more of the party. 
see you guys. Mm. Still need to talk to Gwen. We're all for charisma. Truly, Kim. Love it. You're a visionary. I can't see you doing anything that silly. I want to see what's happening in really the of dead course. universe. Well, that's bleak. Oh, this is so sad. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life. Which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yeah, I'm making the slideshow happen and Sophie's working on Vin. Cool. Let me know if I can help somehow. For sure. And the place was sad. Nice speaker. Let me know if it works. Okay. It's not you, it's me. What do you guys still the same? Well, <gasps> was it the roses? I shouldn't have gone with roses. I knew it. Oh, God. Wow, the place are empty. Can't believe this. Yeah, it sucks, bro. My assassin ambushed me. He was waiting. Whoa, this looks cool. Wonder if Diamond's making another film. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Even? Just one. Hate it when that happens. Stupid game. A stupid game. So empty, man. Ready for the school year to be over? Damn. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. And my love life here is dead too. And there's nothing else. Sorry, Amanda. This place is gonna be a mess by the end of the night. Let's see if Reggie's got the right stuff for the job. If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Sophie. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. What? Is that all right? No, it's not. Okay. Ew. Is this Latin? Why? Cause why not, Max? Cause why not? Latin school language. Yeah, let's just talk. Are we talk for AG first or should we really talk? Uh. Hey Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting more like. 
The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Reggie's playful character and I don't think this Reggie is the one that's uh, just double game, game though, right? Well, let's just go with the prank. Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I, I, um, I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> just testing you. <laughs> 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 You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> I think I just the wrong one. Okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, How can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? Ah, smart, Max. We're going to I should let work. Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. Oh, I can snapshot it. This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? Sorry, Max. One second. We have to recount this turn. Just trust me, dude. Oh, no, no. We, go, we should go to the dead Moses first. I mean, dead work Moses. And then go ask for help here. It's so sad. What's up? We require Mosai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's got to go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be articulate. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. I want to see if we can hear what Sarpy and Vin's talking about. Oh, there's Polar right here. Move over, quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Um... Why? He told me he oh, wanted to Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this like, like the blow at this from the timeline? I'd ask timeline. Mr. Krampus for another photo, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. Nope, still can hear them. Let's go to the living room. Moses is waiting for me. I should probably head over to the projector. Then? need to make sure Moses is running this for the roast. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Why? Why? I 
address so or there's an assignment hit miss I will start so but there's also another not stressing or fear there's two are bad for each other and to hear him tell it they got it bad for each other huh Bad for each other, what do you mean? Let's go with the assignment. Reggie's Classy, officially hey. distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. Well, maybe Reggie did see her. Did she have to talk to him? Okay, how long would that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. Control hatch, right side, right, right. It's red. You mean there are more controls? That feel kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to manual. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. Just to manual. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Flip one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Dial to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. Max. I'm giving you an extra second or two. You probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Calibrate. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Uh, what is happening, oh god? I says we need your help. Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh. Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Brain check? Sure. Did... Did they just cockball my friend? <laughs> hey, Reggie, I found help. I'm sorry, Moses. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it for me. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Ah, uh, good. I mean, yeah, we need to throw in the best for Olga. Think about what's best for Olga. No offense, Reggie. Oh. I'm taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> Why is this suspicious? You're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. We need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. You'll see. 
All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. Very slow, Rita. Very slow. Yeah, I like that girl. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kit. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> Wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. Going to the other side again. You probably wonder why I go to play that so often. Let's see. Tub is there. But, uh, okay, so here's your bread. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. Yeah, and uh, uh. Where's the team? I I want to help my friend. He won't be a problem. Nope. He's too far up his ego's ass, as Krampus guessed on. I did versus. Can I borrow a selfie for a sec? What's up? So, other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Oh, is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. What's MM stand for? What you? I think there's like two places I can change. Is there only one place? Oh, I'm so sorry. Voila. Guess who it's from? It's for real? From the other side, from Safi. Thank you, Max. You're welcome.
a true team effort. That's what I said. Now we're going to talk to Gwen. I hope she doesn't hate me. It's good to see Gwen here, in spite of everything. Hey, just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah, you were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired in it. Safi's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. So is... Is that what you came over here for? Safi has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. I forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it, I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. Okay, Gwen's in. <laughs> Hopefully, he didn't hit me as hard as I thought. Oh, hi, Ray. Hey, this is not right. We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board too. Damn. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What? What my power can do? What's she doing? Uh. Is that Safi? Yup. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up, Safi, out on the patio. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? Sugar. <laughs> That's what could go wrong. Sugar. What happens if I go to the dead world and like... Can I say anything? We Hello. can't let Lucas leave. I should check on him and Sophie outside. Better be fast then. so good at this where I grew up there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire do you strip poker next you're a menace to society 
Ah, that Vin chose Smash too. Mm, nothing. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Me? You don't have to be good to be successful. Just persist. Excuse me? Ah, oh, fuck. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? <laughs> I hope I didn't just wrong. Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. This is the point thing thing I don't. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast. You can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No, of course not. Well... Anyway... Oh yeah, this Lucas hates me. <laughs> Everybody hates me in the city first. You trying to get on my good side again? Ah, <sighs> guess this is spoiling it. If I just ask, it will sound like sarcasm. I would just ask. Just trying to steer Loretta in the right direction. The public deserves the truth about your work. Absolutely. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. What is his pocket? Oh shit, that's the gun. RC. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. I told you, Max. I trust you. I don't trust myself. Here, I'll hold on to it. Happy? Nope. Welcome our guest of honor, 
Professor Lucas Colmanero. Fair warning. He's going to say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beasts Than These. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. I'm sorry if I don't the beast <laughs> rose. I have to focus. And stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. I need to get away with this. You don't know what you're talking about? Try me. Oh shit, what happened? All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, we continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine ah, he who tragically shit. took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horse shit, Coleman Arrow. Oh, no. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen. Trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, 
her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Oh. Uh... Quinn. We've been colleagues for years. Oh, yeah, I hate I understand I hate you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? Wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone God. your side. Shouldn't you go up hey, there as yourself? Are you serious right now? Right. If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't it's be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature Trust you. Film. We have to get him this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not cast, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? Ah, Oof. <laughs> another change, another change. I'm gonna want to slander Finn. I know Finn will get some like legal action if he does it. <sighs> well, you can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it... It wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take... Uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit. But then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. Well, I'm glad it went well. But I don't know what the consequences. But using less power is better. You were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you don't want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? Please don't. I'll be fine. Wait for me. I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Time to... Lucas and Sophie. 
That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. Wait, first stop to Gwyn first. That worked out better than I expected. Safi was phenomenal. I'm proud of her. Didn't feel so great what Lucas said to me, though. It meant a lot to Safi that you came forward. Yeah? Thanks, Max. And... There's Finn. So, what happened? Lucas... Reminded me that we're not the only ones who can make threats. It's not important. Well, we got him in the end, so... No harm done, I guess. Where's Safi? I'm worried. She's around here somewhere. You remember that cow skull thing? I wasn't covering up for Gwen. Just once? I'd love it if you said what you mean. Just keep an eye on Safi tonight, okay? Fine. See you around, Ben. Well, that makes me worried. Yeah, this is good. Safi, the ghost there. You're so full of shit. So quick to run me over, but you're the one who can't deal with reality. Whoa. Whatever they're talking about sounds intense. You do anything to cover your ass. And yet you're still listening. I should ease up on the eavesdropping. Sophie will tell me whatever that was about <laughs> later. When I can tell you or not. How low you can go with this. I'm just processing. No, you're not. We did it. For real. I gotta tell the other Moses. I just tell the other Moses first. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. And I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. Hey, man. That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. Here? Is there anything that I can talk about with this Amanda? I mean, this is my original world, so... We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. But can we hear? You get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. But can we hear the conversation? 
from here. Let's try it. Nope, we cannot. Back to the living world then. made my entire year mine too so that's what you two were planning this whole time uh, no, that's wait where's Safi where's Safi Safi wanted the truth so I gave it to her all of it you don't even know what the fuck you just did do you oh, I don't I really don't so what was that about What's wrong? oh shit my head it's it was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can you. do this! Oh shit. You lied to me! You lied, you lied to, me. to me! You lied to me! Sophie! You lied to me! 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 Did have his power out of control? Oh damn, she can mind control too? Really storm again? Ah, come on man. <laughs> what is she doing? I Oh shit, this is from the photo, isn't it? I have to find her before it's too late. I know Dude, that's a pig. That's dude, this is a pig. Oh man, it's getting worse. I need to go to the other side. People's headaches are getting worse. How do you want to put it on the other side? Oh, so calm. People's headaches are getting worse. Ah, uh, I never got this. I got this so loud. Ah, uh, another one. Oh, how long it's been. So maybe the the dead world Safi is a shapeshifter too. But no. Up there. I have to hurry. Oh, 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 oh. 
Wait, that's that's Safi and Yasmin. You won't even admit it. His mother and his her mother knows. You have no idea. What you did is unforgivable. Almost there. Hold on, both of you. Oh shit, no. Please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Don't do Stay this. back! Both of you! Safi, listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years. Since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I <laughs> Dad, and she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. Pretty fucked up. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me. Happy oh. day. Oh. oh my God. Something down. Oh, yeah. This is one of the main ones. But she's unstable right now. This is hard, this is hard. Uh... Okay, this probability that she will die if I don't know. I'll talk to her first, maybe. Let's see how it goes. Sophie, show your mom you never needed her help. This isn't you, Sophie. It was me. Sophia. was the only choice I've ever really had. No, don't. No, please. What's happening to you? Ah! Oh, oh, shit. Oh okay, I see you. I did it 
Man, that was short, really? Is it that? What? It's done? What do you mean it's done? Man, it was fast. Let's see the choice then. Huh? Yeah. Okay, she appreciate it. There's only three major choices here. Well, I choose the majority and almost all of it. Dark Loretta. Wow, that was fast. I didn't expect that to end that fast. But I mean, yeah, it's the fourth one, and this is the pick, and that's the pick. That's the cliffhanger that we won. Oh, God. Okay, that's, uh, that's chapter four of Life is Strange. I want to say before the storm, but it's not before the storm. That's double exposure. Okay, it's. It's really a short, a short episode, short chapter, but. Yeah, then I will stream again for chapter 5 tomorrow at this time, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this chapter. A little bit short for me, but yeah, I do enjoy this, this story. And please, if you like the video, please subscribe and follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and like and comment. Okay, so goodbye.